hello all welcome to my channel welcome to desire build blog and if you're just seeing my videos for the first time nice to meet you and not subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you can get notifications when i upload new videos so today i am cooking jollof rice but this is a special jollof rice you know i'm all about variety and like they say variety is the spice of life so i'm cooking jollof rice with peas so what i'm going to do is parboil my rice for a few minutes then after parboiling my rice i'm going to wash my rice i'm going to wash off the starchy part of the rice you know it's not good for your health you see you can see a lot of it imagine consuming all that that's too much so i'm going to wash off as much as i can as i can <laughs> and um yes and i'm going to drain it uh in preparation for my jollof rice so once i drain it i'm going to leave it and then return to my pot yes so the first thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to eat up my oil i use sunflower oil and then I'm going to fry my onions. Onions very important when cooking jollof rice. No matter the type of jollof rice you are cooking, so I'm going to fry the onions to um, to, to to some extent to soften it, and then I am going to also put in guess 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 what yeah my tomato paste yes tomato paste very very important when cooking jollof rice so um some people use um plum but i prefer to use the, this tomato paste it's actually um a well-known brand um very common in nigeria so i bought it here in the uk in the african store so once i put that in on fire i'm going to stir it and wait for it to to fry wait i'll wait for it to fry to the point of almost getting burnt this time around <laughs> it's going to like it's going to appear like it's burnt because i am going to let it burn a bit because i just want to have that brownish um brownish or should i should say um brown reddish kind of color i love it that it gives to my jollof rice so once it's fry fried you see it's burnt a bit but up uh, kind of burnt yeah so don't worry if you fry to this extent it's okay once you put in your peppers like i'm putting in now so my peppers consist of onions bell pepper scotch bonnet bonnet and paprika yes yeah, so that's that is the right combination when you're cooking jollof rice or you're making any form of nigerian food you have to just include the three types of pepper you know to give it the flavor yes so i'm going to also fry the peppers to to a certain degree for about um maybe 10 15 minutes it could be less but it needs to be dry it needs to be dry before you can then proceed to the next stage yes so stirring it so that um, it can mix with the almost burnt um tomato paste and you can see you it's already that burnt color is kind of disappearing so that is why i said don't worry if it's going to burn because it's not going to show eventually it's not going to show so the next thing is to introduce my seasonings i love to use curry for my jollof rice not all my jollof rice though 
Then my everyday seasoning. Yeah, that's the next thing I'm putting. And then my nut cubes. Yes, you know, I have always said that I prefer the original nut cubes. Yeah, it was kind of hard, very hard. I had to like just, you know, I had to just try to break it with my fingers. Then sort of cross the taste. A little bit of salt you know you don't want your food to be too salty you know salt is good but when it's too much <laughs> you know too much of everything is bad so i'm going to let my peppers cook yeah as you can see it's it's, it's, it's what's the word again sizzling or <laughs> yeah you can see but you understand what i'm trying to say right i don't like this point of my cooking because it begins to splash everywhere like i just try to like i had to reduce the fire a year because yeah, so that was splashed everywhere yes so this is the time to put in my rice so the rice was cooked it was cooked to to some point like half done that is the point of parboiling it yeah so once you've ensured that it's half done you need to take it off the fire do not let it get completely done because your rice is going to be soggy yes it's going to be soggy so just allow it allow it to get done like partly done and then you can always put it back on fire and it will get done completely when um cooking the jollof rice and then you stir you want to mix it up so that um so that um, everything you know goes round just keep stirring until you've successfully mixed especially mixed your rice with the jollof rice stew and did i forget to mention that i, I, I actually put in um my turkey stock yes <laughs> let me tell you a secret do not tell anyone if you want to have a delicious <laughs> distinctive jollof rice always use turkey stock not chicken stock turkey stock it's going to give your rice that <laughs> distinctive taste like i said it's all mixed now so i'm covering it to a light steam yeah so it's steamed and it's getting done at this point try and stir again but when you're stirring ensure not to stir too much and ensure you stir from the bottom up because you don't want to have all your rice burnt so this is the time to introduce the peas yes i told you i was cooking jollof rice with peas yes yeah, so I'm also going to stir it and mix the peas with the rice so everything is even done mixing i'm going to cover my pot um before i cover my pot i'm going to cover it with the foil the foil is to retain the steam because you do not need too much water when cooking jollof rice like i said it's going to be soggy so what you need is just it for it to steam up and then the rice soften i cover up my pot and wait for about 10 minutes 15 minutes there about to go back and check stay again just to ensure that everything is mixed and that no part is no part is missing um no piece is missing in some parts of the rice rather yeah so stir 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 
so like i said i just gave you my secret right so this is it the rice is done i had to you know show you this because <laughs> i know <laughs> i know so i i'm going to eat this rice i'm i'm going to have my rice with turkey yes roasted turkey or grilled turkey if you call it that way and plantain of course my plantain i like to chop my plantain in cubes when i'm eating it with jollof rice so that's it guys do not forget to subscribe to my channel